Well, ladies and gentlemen, on 15th of November this year, 2024, finally, for one last time, <laughs> Saturn will again go direct in the sign of Aquarius. And next year, 29th March, 2025, it's going to enter the sign of Pisces. So, therefore, it is the last direct motion of Saturn in the sign of Aquarius and the ending of the retrograde cycle of Saturn in the sign of Aquarius. So, I've already made the videos on uh, explanation and remedies for this transit in Pisces. If you have not watched those two videos, it's there like a week before uh, I went live. So, please watch them and for every ascendant, what will happen in the uh, transit of Pisces, that video will come out very soon. All right. So now we are here with the 12 ascendants. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. And for personalized horoscope consultations, you can always visit my website down in the description section. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new and hit the thumbs up if you enjoy the content. And if you want to personally meet me and have a one-to-one -one consultation, then I'll be in New Delhi from 25th of November to 2nd of December. So almost a month is remaining now. <laughs> and I'll also be in Guwahati from 10th of December to 10th of January next year. So if you are interested to have one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, please send an email as soon as possible at exoticastrology at the rate gmail.com. All right. So now, we know what are retrograde planets. Retrograde planets are planets which take us back, right? And when the retrogression is ending, we are now starting the things again. So we have completed the things which we should have completed before, but we did not due to some reason. But now we are completing them, okay? And when the task is complete, the new journey begins. So this is the this cycle will be the journey of the new cycle, okay? So, these are the last days in Aquarius, last, uh, yeah, four, five, say, five months, uh, four, four and a half months. And therefore, this these, these months are very important because we can harness the energy of Aquarius in full, all right? So, now, we go to every ascendant. So, now, we start with Aries ascendants. So, this transit is, as you know, in your 11th house of, you know, gains, social networks. Saturn is your 10th lord, is also your 11th lord. So, this transit is very, very, very powerful because now your gains will start to appear. I know in his ascendance, you have been telling me that you are losing money. <laughs> I know it's happening. I mean, uh, your 10th lord is retrograde, you know, in the 11th house of gains. What can you expect? Okay, but be patient. Maybe if your Dasha agrees, then after uh, 15 November, we are still some time uh, there. And then there's like how many days? Around three weeks, right? Yeah, there's still three weeks from today, but you have to be patient and you will see humongous gains. And there will be growth in your career. You know, you'll have financial gains, uh, stock market, trading, long term investing, real estate, gold, uh, maybe even fixed deposits, cryptocurrency. And why I'm saying stock and crypto, because from there, Saturn is already aspecting your fifth house of uh, Purva Punya, okay? <clears throat> and fifth house is speculation, as you know. And it will award you with better social networking. You know, some friends can come back and you might get a chance to meet them. And the only uh, thing that you need to be aware of is, is there will be increased responsibilities at your workplace, okay? Very, very, very important at there will be opportunities to fulfill your long-term goals. So, if there is something that you are willing to do from, you know, like many, many months, years or decades, this is the final time for you to execute and take it in towards completion. Okay, so don't waste this time. Do it and hype me later. <laughs> All the best, Aries. Please use this period because after this, Saturn will move into the sign of Pisces, which is your 12th house. And now, for the next 4-5 months, Saturn is still in Aquarius, which is your 11th house. So, please utilize this period, the last months in the 11th house. 10th Lord, 11th Lord, transiting the 11th. Fantastic time. So, put all your energies into achieving success. Not just professional success, 
it could be anything you know marriage or you know your love life your your interactions with children or having children your home your mother your father anybody okay so whoever you value what what is that you value and who are they who you value so the things your net worth and your network and your overall interactions with human beings okay so work towards success and you will be rewarded all right all the best is take care now we go to taurus taurus thumbs up thumbs up your yoke karak which is saturn is getting now direct i i can understand taurus ascendants you might have been feeling that what the hell is this you know nothing's working 10th lord is retro oh yeah yeah something or the other is going on and yeah it's not the best thing to have right 10th lord retro just for aries also <clears throat> but now uh, it's going to get direct okay so very 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 important and saturn also lords your 9th house fantastic this is so now for you there will be advancements in your career you know there will be recognition at work there will be support from your superiors you know you might also travel for work or for higher studies okay so you might go to a foreign land to do a phd or masters or in general you might be tempted to go towards higher education or higher education may be required in your field of work okay very 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 important because uh, if you do not have the skills you cannot excel in a particular area so if you feel that you are lagging in your life in your career especially if you are lacking or you are lagging or both <laughs> then you need to understand that you have to now do research you have to learn you have to read so become this never uh, become this student who is always learning so therefore if you are never if you never stop learning then you are always growing and when i say growth i don't mean you know just seeing some youtube videos or podcasts or doing online courses no when i'm saying growth i mean you are doing work in practical projects okay so please make sure that you implement the work that you are learning and not just keep learning because that might not lead you anywhere and on the brighter side if you are uh, if you have some uh, big event you know it might be that you know you are very successful and you are able to make uh, humongous progress okay and even after this also uh, you are very lucky because saturn will uh, move into your 11th house in Pisces. That's a fantastic thing. 10th floor moving into 11. So Taurus, thumbs up for the last uh, four or five months and double thumbs up later. All right. Congratulations. <laughs> <clears throat> so now we go to Gemini, Mithun Lagna. Okay. For you, Shani is transiting in the 9th house of luck. Okay. Saturn is ruling your 8th house, oh, but also your 9th house, luckily. <laughs> so he is uh, ruling the house of misfortune and fortune both simultaneously eighth house is darkness is the graveyard right as i always say and ninth house is bhagya bhagya sthan right so therefore this period is a period where you should counter your weaknesses and your dark dark side okay so therefore if you are struggling with any bad habits, then this is the perfect time where you should actually, you know, try to uh, work on them, you know, and not just work on your weaknesses, but also work on your strengths. Okay, so because this period is a phenomenal period where you can actually learn a lot about yourself, you can learn a lot about your strengths, your weaknesses, where you should improve, where uh, where you are already good at. Okay, so. And in case you are confused and you don't know, then this is the perfect time for you to seek guidance from a career counselor or a relationship expert or go to your Shiksha Guru or maybe your astro family astrologer or anybody or any any elder, you know, or anybody who is more experienced than you. Need not be your elder necessarily, but anybody who can guide you better, that person should be there on your contact list, okay? And you should call that person, okay? So therefore, this is a period where you should learn more about yourself. So completely go inwards, learn about yourself because I can tell you all the fancy things, you know, ninth house, PhD and all this, which is fine. Nothing wrong in doing PhD or doing masters, but 
you have to understand that the primary thing is to identify yourself and when the eighth house is involved you have to identify yourself okay so once you identify yourself you can go and do phd double phd you know postdoc whatever that you wish okay so conquer yourself go and seek guidance from a guru especially and you will be benefited all the best gemini now we go to cancer karka lagna where is saturn transiting in ashtam for you not the best transit okay you might be feeling that you know things are not happening as per your wish you know there are delays there are disappointments there are setbacks and you know you are you're feeling as if you know uh, things are not working out for you okay and for you speci especially saturn is also a kindra lord because he's also the lord of seventh house right along with being the lord of the eighth house so you might have experienced that uh, if you are trying to get married, especially you are in that age, you know, like above 25 when you are trying your best to get married, but it's not happening. Okay, so you need to check your dashas. And now after 15 November, if your dashas are relatively better, then there are high chances that you might find somebody. But disclaimer, your dashas have to agree. Okay, but again, if your dashas are uh, not agreeing, you can at least try from your side. Or if you are already married, you need to see how your relationship with your in-laws uh, is going actually. Because you may sometimes feel that, you know, your relationship is not the best. So you should try your best to improve your relationship with your in-laws. And people in general uh, who are helping you to grow your assets. Okay, so it could be anybody, you know, your manager or your you know your fund manager your boss your in-laws anybody who is who is helping you to build something together eight house shows things that you build with other people okay so therefore uh, at, at the same time if you are into you know investment stock market and all this uh it can be a bit intense period for you so it means you might make a lot of profit or you might make uh, a loss okay so Depending on your dasha, you have to be careful. Uh, play your cards right. And if you are uh, unsure of what to do, then best is to go to a financial advisor or a portfolio manager who can help you do this. Okay. So therefore, this is a perfect time to work with other people. So many times you will feel that I have to do this alone. But no, now you 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 will realize that you have to do it together. Okay. And the best part is after this transit is over, Saturn on 29th March next year will move into your ninth house. Okay, that's a brilliant transit. And you will find that you are now getting the right guidance. Okay, so therefore after uh, beginning of 1st of April next year, if you feel uh, you should get good guidance, you know, please contact your guru or contact some astrologer who, who you can consult. All right. That is the best thing for you. But till then, you have to be a bit patient and work on yourself. All right? Take care, Cancer. Now, we go to Leo. Saturn's favorite sign, right? <laughs> favorite planet, the sun. <laughs> so, Saturn is... Which house is Saturn rules for Leo, right? Uh, <clears throat> He's ruling the house of marriage and divorce simultaneously. <laughs> oh boy, Leos have a tough time with Saturn. For Leo, wherever Saturn transits is by default trouble there. <laughs> Why? Why do I say this? Because he's, he's on one hand, he's a Dustana Lord. He's a sixth Lord. So he's bringing trouble, but he's also seventh Lord, which means... Is a Kendra Lord. That means you, you have to address issues which you cannot say no. So it's like the trouble is coming and the trouble is inevitable. Okay, so therefore you need to uh, you need to be careful with transit of Saturn in any house. Exaltation or debilitation uh, does not matter. Okay, now, but nonetheless, uh, this transit is happening in your seventh house, right? Very, very, very important. Kendra house, it's the house of relationships, partnerships. And Saturn lords your sixth house of health, you know, conflicts uh, and, you know, diseases, fights, quarrels, abuses, defamation and all this. So therefore, now it's time that you resolve your final 
conflicts that you have you know so resolution of ongoing conflicts are essential uh, try to improve your marriage your married life and if you are looking for get uh, somebody to get married maybe this is a good time now you can start searching because now you may start finding as the planet in the seventh is going direct okay and he's also your seventh lord so it can uh, be good in that case but again it will not be like you know you find somebody today and tomorrow you want to get married uh, because he's also your sixth lord okay so you also need to focus on your health you also need to see uh, your mental health so maybe if it's very difficult for you then uh, you should do some worship of lord shiva and water offer you know water on a people tree on every saturday that is something you can do especially for leo all right so therefore uh, at the end you need to understand that there will be difficulties and challenges in your life but you have to navigate through it and because seventh house shows other people so if you are unable to do then please ask help from others okay don't don't bully others don't try to you know boss over others and don't try to control others that will backfire this is your lesson leo especially with saturn transit in the seventh house because is dikbali there directional strength and he is also the arch rival of your lagna lord the sun okay so therefore do not forget and don't behave as if you are the boss all right <laughs> take care now we go to vargo vargo lagna kanya lagna what's going on this transit is in your 6th house 6th house is the house of enemies <laughs> enemies will be back <laughs> they're ready to hit you hard this time right vargo saturn transiting 6th house i i know vargo lagna people you know you you are really betting some serious crap okay i know that and many of you have also had health issues so now uh, this transit is a direct motion of saturn so it can be that you see some health issue or some health issue is getting resolved so depending on your mahadasha and antardasha it will be decided what exactly is happening okay so therefore you need to understand that this is a period where the 5th house and 6th house will play play their individual roles now if why 5th house because he's your 5th lord right he's also your 6th lord so 5th house shows you know education creativity intelligence you know your uh, outlook towards life you know your vision in life 5th house can show your you know romance and love life also okay so therefore 5th house also shows you know uh, healing like you know good uh, immune system okay 6th house shows bad Im bad immunity bad immune system destroyed immune system so long lasting health issues may resolve or new health issues may appear and then there might be some conflicts that you face at your workplace with your you know colleagues or with your boss or with your uh, subordinates and this could be in general a positive time for you to get into competitive exams okay so if you get into competitive exams then this is perfect actually but of course your dasha should agree okay and because this is a transit in a dusthala so i would recommend you to chant uh, the mahamrityunjay mantra that will help you and you can also um, be of some service to the needy or to the poor people or especially to the animals okay so virgo take care of your health resolve disputes to whatever extent possible and be careful of enemies <laughs> all right virgo please take care now we go to libra lagna tula lagna what's going on this transit is in your pancham it's in your fifth house right the fifth house is the house of love <laughs> it's also the house of creativity it's also the house of children and just like taurus for you also you know saturn is a very powerful planet because saturn is a yog karak right he is the fourth lord and he is also the fifth lord so therefore if you have any plans for you know higher education knowledge divinity mantra spiritual practices whatever it is please go and execute it and if you are planning to have children then this is the perfect time for you to have children or if you are planning to you know 
do something creative with your home or with your vehicle or you know uh, yeah buy a new vehicle buy a new car new home also then also this is a perfect time so essentially it's a great time for you to pursue you know uh, creativity and uh, relationships also uh, any relationship you know not just romantic love relationships and if you have children then specifically make sure to spend time with them okay so this is a time where your real estate matters might get settled you know real estate might be there on cards you know you may be buying or selling and this house also shows you know your speculative investments so it it is possible that if you have already made some investments they can yield very good results okay so therefore uh, libra lagna if you are facing a lot of difficulty you can uh, chant this mantra because fifth house is the house of mantra please chant om namo narayana 108 times in a mala every day morning okay so take a mala and chant this mantra you will be benefited all right so be creative learn more upgrade more spend time with yourself with your loved ones and take to spiritual life seriously all right all the best libra take care now we go to rishik scorpio lagna okay scorpio what is going on for you this transit is in your kendra fourth house very 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 important fourth house is the house of your home and comforts anything that gives you shelter roti kapra makan right <laughs> roti second house <laughs> kapra i don't know which house <laughs> All right, he is also your third lord, and he's your fourth lord. So he's a Kendra lord, and he's third lord. So he lords, he rules. You know, your siblings, your courage, your home, your mother. Okay, so there could be some issues that you face in your home, or especially you are traveling somewhere. If you are traveling somewhere, please be careful. Okay, and. you may suddenly feel the need to travel or suddenly feel the need to stop traveling okay because these are two very contrary houses the fourth house is the house of stability and third house is instability so it's like you know both are getting mixed so it's like you know you are uh, frustrated and you need some vacation and and that is why you are traveling and that is making you very uh, that that's making you hollow from inside you feel like you know maybe you are running away from things okay so therefore if you feel that you are not doing justice to yourself then please 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 sit at one place do some meditation and <clears throat> reduce your anxiety okay if you do this it will be fantastic okay so there could be you know peace in your domestic life and property matters might get resolved you no know, or some issues related to property from your mother side especially and you need to focus on better communication with your family and siblings this is very 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 important because third lord is now getting direct so if you had some conflicts with people and you know if you had some difficulty uh, communicating with anybody that person could be you know your parents your spouse you know your you know, in-laws your boss or anybody doesn't matter okay but if you had that then you have the best time to settle it now okay so if you can't then it will be very good because now you can also you know kind of uh, do some negotiation and you know apologize if you are wrong or you know you can say okay this was my mistake and now this is your mistake okay so therefore if you can uh, if you feel that by apologizing to somebody you know you will save the relationship maybe now is the time you do it okay now of course i am not saying you go and apologize to a bully or to somebody who did wrong to you but you are the best judge of your life okay so i have given you the information and uh, you can decide what you want to do all right so scorpio focus on stability focus on stabilizing yourself and apologize if required all right please take care Number nine, we go to Sagittarius. Sagittarius, like now, this transit is in your third house. Very, very, very important. Saturn does great in third house. Okay, third house is the house of efforts, communication. Is the lord of your second house also, along with being the third lord. And you know, 
there is like you know wealth there is um, speech there are siblings because wealth is seen primarily from the, the second house you know your the, your accumulated wealth your net worth is seen from the second house okay so therefore you know you might want to increase your efforts in your career you know have better communication skills and potential gains through siblings okay and financial situation might improve with proper planning and second house uh, second house shows money and third house is your interviews okay so if you if you uh, want to give interviews and prepare for that you know dream job then this is the best time okay so therefore please understand that you have to work on your skills now so work on presentation work on communication work on you know talking work on uh, getting things done through your communication you know writing emails you know writing blogs without using chat gpt <laughs> okay so if you can do this or if you you might also feel you know that oh i am you know uh, i i need to travel somewhere i need to go to some place to gain something okay so if you feel that traveling will increase your knowledge your uh, it will increase your overall personality it will bring a new charm into your life then travel for the right reasons but avoid traveling unnecessarily because you are you know frustrated with life okay so therefore travel to the right places especially you can travel to some place for you know some financial uh, development you know like there is some webinar not webinar you know there is some you know a group or meeting which is going on there is some meet up for your uh, your domain of work if that is happening fantastic you can go and you can actually benefit from there all right all the best sagittarius now we go to capricorn what's going on capricorn this transit will be in your second house what is second house Second house is the house of wealth. It's the house of your family, and Shani is your lagna lord, and your second lord is the most important planet in your chart, right? So these two houses show yourself and your self worth, your net worth, everything basically that you own. Okay, so this can result in improvement in your family matters. You know your net worth, new financial sources of earning might also come, and there could be great growth in your personal life also so you may focus on financial planning and investments and you may also focus on improving your health and also eating right because the second house is the house of food also so when jupiter comes in the second you might get a tendency to like overeat sometimes but if your Uh, second house has saturn on it then you may be very conscious about what you are eating okay so therefore if you feel that you have to cut down on your eating and not just cut down quantitatively uh, but uh, you know cut down on your frequency also okay maybe you are eating five times a day and you should eat not more than two or three times okay so then do uh, cut down on your frequency and within that also try to control your meal portions okay so therefore if you do this then you will see you have more time more energy and you know you can uh, you can get more things done so therefore focus on your overall life your wealth your net worth your job and also focus on your eating habits and you will do fantastic capricorn all right all the best now we go to aquarius So what's going on Aquarius this transit is in your first house as you know and Shani is your lagna lord but also your 12th lord so he is ruling your life and your <laughs> your moksha also right so he's he's a very uh, I won't say a very tricky planet but he's a very critical planet because he he is ruling uh, the first house which you know is a kendra and uh the first house is also trikorn okay so and the 12th house is a dustana house so it it's like saying he is ruling your body he is ruling your mind and your losses it's a bit peculiar situation right but that's what it is so the first house is the house of yourself your health uh, 12th house is the house of expenses hospitalization losses and all this okay so now 
you should focus on your self growth because you may feel a bit uh, lost not lost externally but you may feel that yeah you are doing everything but you know somehow it's not working and it's not working in your favor so focus on spiritual development uh, possibilities of foreign travel could also be there but it should be there for the right reasons you know not just for uh, superficial uh, enjoyment okay and you might have some expenditure for higher purposes you know for good purposes okay like you are going to some spiritual community some satsang program or you are yeah you are going to some retreat you know some relaxation you know a uh, place for 7 days 10 days or 15 days and then you will be extremely benefited because if you if you uh, spend time knowing yourself then you will you will be able to bounce back 10x faster with much more intensity and much more without much efforts basically so during this time you may feel that i am not able to you know bounce back okay uh, i am suffering somewhere and that suffering seems to continue so if you are feeling like this then uh, maybe it's time that you take control of your life and when i say control of your life i mean to say that you have to see where you are spending your time so whenever you want to take control of your life it's like saying in short you have to control your time so therefore if you feel you are wasting too much time you know then try to block out things and do things uh, as per your schedule try your best to whatever extent possible all right so therefore this is a period where you need to work on yourself and you have to focus on your health also and all areas of your life because it's your lagna lord in the lagna and also the 12th lord okay and at time you at times you may feel that you know you're kind of lost but that's fine that's okay it's okay i mean you don't have to you know freak out okay but you will have to work hard that's non negotiable all right please take care aquarius now last but not the least we go to pisces so oh, pisces this is in your 12th house i understand you are having difficulty like some other ascendants also uh, and that's you know but natural but you need to understand that 12th house is only a only a bad house or a difficult house if you talk in terms of material material realm because it shows losses but in terms of spirituality it's a perfect house because it talks of detachment okay because you cannot you cannot uh, you cannot be happy in the material realm for very long because materialistic things will make you attached okay so therefore if you feel that you are too serious in life you know it's like you know everything bothers you everything matters to you you know it's like everything angers you <laughs> then this is the perfect time where you can actually learn and earn detachment so on the good side you know you may uh, have spiritual growth you know you may have opportunities for foreign lands uh you may have expenditure for good causes because saturn is also your 11th lord right and you may want to give some donations also so therefore if you are feeling that you need to let go of life you need to let go of your gains and you know take things a bit easy you know take things slow and you know not rush like donkeys or animals okay so then you are not wrong because that is how you should be okay but because saturn for you lord you know your 11th house and your 12th house gains losses so it can be confusing sometimes your life can have this confusion like you know for example what should i do should i pursue this or should i not pursue this all right so pisces ascendants does it happen with you yeah if yes please write it down in comments all right so therefore if you are feeling that you are not good enough or your efforts are not complete then always remember your best need not be or may not be the best okay yeah i mean you may give 100% but that may not be sufficient and that's okay everybody is <coughs> everybody is 100% is different okay everybody cannot uh, give 100% every day and even if you give 100% it may just be you know 1% of that which is required okay so 
for you in short make peace with your life try to let go of things that you cannot control and try to uh, take control of the things that you can take control all right so pisces learn a bit of detachment give donations and do meditation and upgrade yourself spiritually and don't forget to visit spiritual communities all right please take care thank you so much jai siya ram